OK, let's chat about this with Michael then. Just mm. explain to us what impact Edu has had at the club. I think he's had a pretty big impact. I think he's an impressive guy and people I've spoken to over the last few months and years at Arsenal about Edu. He, he's, he's very hands-on, mm. he's very friendly with, with all, all the staff at Arsenal. And people say, well, does that matter? Well, it matters quite a lot. It's, it's nice to feel important. And he had that kind of aura about him. And I think so many of us were quite shocked with the, with, with the announcement yesterday. But look, when he, took, when he joined Arsenal, they were a club in transition. You know, the, the post arsenal Wenger era, of course, Unai Emery was there. But then after that, you, you look at them here from the Invincibles. There's Edu there, joining the club. And every time you hear from Edu, ultra ambitious, completely very, very ambitious guy. And then up there, and we know now they're a club who are going to be in the title race this season and over the last couple of seasons. Um, what you always do when someone of this level and job position leaves, mm. you talk about the signings they've made and whether they've been a success or not. Mm. The hits and misses, <laughs> we like to call it. But look, it's a lot of money. But yeah. without a doubt, for me, I'm from North London. I get in, and speak to Arsenal fans, and they'll probably agree as well. Mm. Declan Rice is probably their best signing, or if not one of their best signings, Martin Odegaard, club captain now. Yeah. The, the, the issue with some of these signings during his era was how much say he had on certain signings, like Gabriel Martinelli at the time, how much he had say in Martin Odegaard. In terms of the other way round, in the hits and misses, Nicolas Pepe, I've been told that Edu didn't really have much of a say in that at all. It was, it was a previous director, previous regime. Mm. Kai Havertz, most Arsenal fans would say he's been a success. I've had a look, I'd say Declan Rice, of course, Odegaard. Ben White's been a real success. David Raya's been a real success. Um, Kai Havertz, Julian Timber. Yep. Jorginho's been a success. Leandro Trossard in the January transfer window, he's been a success. Misses, Willian didn't really work. Fabio Vieira from Porto the summer before hasn't really worked. Albert Samuel Conga, David Luiz. But, of course, people coming back and forth. How much say and how much influence did he have on some of these signings? Mm. But what we do know, overall, all in all, recruitment at Arsenal under Edu has gone very well indeed. So then why has he decided to move? Well, I think only Edu knows that. I mean, there's, there's, art, there's reports uh, in the papers this morning and, uh, in terms of potential boardroom struggles, influence, and, of course... With Maranakis now, he, he has an opportunity, a real ambition with these three clubs. It might be an exciting role for him. Of course, mm. his salary might mm. increase quite a bit as well. Does he feel he's, he's here as a director, a sporting director, to take an arsenal as far as he could? Only he knows. But he's a very ambitious guy. Uh, and I, I spoke to him when I was on Arsenal's pre-season tour of Orlando, uh, just about the ambition of Arsenal. And this was before Arsenal were in the title race. They were hovering around fourth and fifth. They ended up finishing, finishing fifth. But I was, I was quite taken aback by just how ambitious he was at the time. Let's have a listen to this. We have to be realistic for the situations. But why not put here, I want to win again. I want to be Arsenal. I want to be there again as soon as possible. Why not? So what's your target this season for Arsenal Football Club? Listen, with all my respect, um, even being realistic, I cannot think less than win things. 